Hi everybody, welcome to Creating with Love. Hey, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, share, share, share. Your comments help everybody grow, not just me, but everybody. And um, come and join me on Facebook group, Creating with Love Crafting, and come and join me on Instagram. So we have been working on Using this floral romance, um, we have been, and I just wanted to show you what I'm using. It is a beautiful paper, and this hot buy paper does have nice paper that doesn't crack when you, um, I think it's by Craft Smart, but I like this one um, when you bend it. Okay, so this is what we've been working on. And I will flip through. I've done many, many, um, many pockets without you. <laughs> and we'll finish a couple pockets with you. Okay. But here is one of the dolls that goes into the vellum pockets. And she looks like she's behind a bush. And um, this is the other doll that goes into one of the, the vellum pockets and she looks like she's behind a bush. I actually should have put the pocket over here because it's very hard to get her out. But anyways, and put her in. But anyways, guys, so this is one of her outfits right here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm playing with paper dolls. I'm just making a home for them to live in. Um, some of the outfits will be uh, sticking out. Um, I don't want to fold them, not at all. So, and here's another pocket that we can decorate if we wanted. Here's a wedding dress for the brunette girl. Okay. And another dress for her. And so on and so forth. Okay. So I put the two girls, uh, what did I do? I put the brunette girl with all her outfits up front first, okay? And then the blonde girl, I'll show you her again. I put her with, with oh, come on, with all her outfits going forth like this look and this one okay so um, they all have pockets each outfit but they do stick out on the edges here if you can see what I'm talking about but they do they stick out on the edges and I made this pocket and um, you can see she's behind here you know that the outfit and so you might want to stick the tabs inside underneath here. This, this lifts up here. So you could stick the tabs very safely behind there. And this looks like she's her outfit's behind a bush. So anyways, um, I did two more on this side. And so now we have a couple more to do. So we have the children, okay, of whoever they are. And I turned around and I made, um, I made the pocket where they're gonna slip into. So this right here is vellum, and then I fussy cut around the butterflies on here, and I just glued them together like that to make an extension of the paper. So what I'm gonna do is remove them and then we're just going to place the pocket in there, like so. This is like a review we did before. So I'm just going to glue on the top here, 
glue at the top, run it all down the side as straight as I can. I can't do it straight though. And run it down the bottom. And you put it on. Kind of close to the inside seam where it folds, but don't put it on it. And, oops, they will fit in there as soon as it dries. Okay, but his hat, okay, is going to be a problem. So we're putting them in there and that will clear up right here. So what I'm going to do for his hat, it's right here, all right? I'm going to make, this is what I've been doing for any little pieces left over. I'm going to take my extra piece and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across for a pocket. It's just so that the little piece of the hat will stick out of the pocket, okay? All right, so now I'm going to make it a little more even. All right. Now what I want to do is possibly put, yeah, we can do that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a piece of paper halfway up just to make it look nice, okay? So we're just making it look nice. Now remember I'm going to keep the glue, I'm going to keep this shallow so that the hat can stick out of it. So I'm not worried about that, okay? I just want the flower. So we're going to take our little corner cutter and we're going to cor cut each corner on here. Let me try and get this a little better, okay. So I'm gonna put this over here. If just a little bit. So now, what I wanna do is I wanna put this in the corner or over here, I think over here. So now we're going to at least come all the way up here with the glue, all the way up to that line of the vellum, okay? I am going to allow the hat to stick out. Then I have to go up each side to make a pocket. And I'm going to place it right on the edge here. That way we never lose his hat. All right, so only one of the children, I think there's a hat for her, but I gotta find it. He, and if I find it, we will stick it in the same pocket. So there it is, there's his hat. Okay, so we won't lose the hat. I gotta find hers and the children are in there. So now we have another cute little girl who has a hat of hers. Okay, she didn't have a hat, she does. So I made another little pocket wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it a um, tuck spot. But it's going to go in the shape of the L. So we're gonna make another pocket for her hat.
and I'm going to put this right in the middle here. Now notice she's playing. I did fussy cut her out, and I was supposed to take an X-Acto knife and cut here and here, but I got uh, kind of like I don't want to because she was flimsy in there. So she goes right in there in her little home. Okay. And now we're going to do another little, um, another little packet. So I want to use another flower like this. Okay. And we're going to take and measure. Where's the hat now? I lost the hat. Okay. What happened? Here it is. It blended in. So we're going to take the hat. We're going to measure this hat. And this hat needs to stick out like right there. So I am actually going to cut it with my bigger scissors in a straight line. Yeah, straight my butt. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Now I'm going to put these two flowers see the daisies and the and the rose i'm going to put them on the bottom here so that will look nice too oh boy i think i lost the hat again oh my all right so i'm not worried about it i'm just going to do this okay we're going to let's see And I could put her pocket up here for her hat or up in the corner. Maybe I will. Um, so, okay, I had to, uh, I had to put you on pause for a minute there. Sorry about that. Okay, so now, because this is going to be a nice little pouch, or nice little, um, oh, come on. Hello, get in there. Okay. Okay. Where shall I put it? Shall I put it up here for her hat? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So this is all we do. Make little pouches. Or make little pockets. Da -da 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 -da. There's a pocket there. And I, yeah, I know it doesn't go, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hold on a minute. Okay, see? I have her little hat. I'll show you again. The hat goes like this on her head. I had to put a slit in here for her head. Okay. But I didn't want them to wear them in the pockets because they could be lost. So we just do this. And there it is, her hat, and she goes in her little home. So, how's that? Okay, so we're going to turn the page. I have some more people. I have a little boy with a hat. Okay, he has a hat. We gotta put that on my trimmer, and I have um, a butler with a hat. So he has a hat. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is put there. Mm, there, um, 
their pockets on. Do, do, do. And I love this glue. I'm going to keep saying it. Remember, don't get too close to where it folds right here in the seam. Don't get too close to that. So there he is. His little home is right there. Okay. And his hat needs to go somewhere. I have another piece of vellum. And what do I want to use? I don't want to use flowers for a boy. So I have this. Okay, I'm going to use this. No, not on that page. All right. Mm -mm, that's uneven. Hold on. So, I found a piece of paper out of my scrap pack, and I'm going to use it um, to attach here to make this a little larger so that we can just not worry about this getting lost. So, all I got to do is cut across where the hat ends, which will be right there. So... Now, I am going to, if I can, just glue it. Sometimes your glue, my uh, barely art, will form a ball on the top. You just pull it off. So there it is. Now this is not even, so what I'm going to do is these scissors go off when I'm cutting and it really, like, it's a pain. I don't think they're sharp. I keep trying to sharpen them with aluminum foil. Ooh! That's a tough paper. All right, so. Oh, somebody's horn's going off. Isn't that nice? All right, so I'm going to put this at his feet. His name is Desmond. Now we're going to glue this in. So we could put his hat in. I'm going to put it right on the edge of the vellum. And hold it down for a minute, just for a second. And slip his little hat in there and there you go he's got a hat so here's Desmond and his hat is right here now I don't know if I want to I might make it a little tighter to get him in and out I'm not sure so we have the top hat and the and the butler and I put a black piece on this one might be kind of stark or weird, but that's me. It's what I like doing. Doing various stuff, various things. Now that's Basil, the butler. All these dolls have names, and uh, I used to play with um, 
with dolls. And then there were free forms. They stuck to some kind of background material. It was cool. They were kind of rubbery like. So he slides in there real well. And he's right there. And so now we're going to make his little hat holder. So how do we want to make that? We want to, first of all, make sure this is straight. All right. Then we're going to measure his hat because it's going to fit in that way. So we have a hat holder. And we got to make it even. And then we got to put our piece of paper on the bottom. Okay? So you know how I'm going to do it. All right. All right, so there we go. Rounding the edges again. Cut it off where I want it. Actually, I'm not worried about it because I'll just put the glue where I don't want the hat to fall down into. to put his hat on the bottom here too. Putting a larger line amount of glue in the bottom. And there you have his hat. Okay. So you do have pockets for hats. Because these guys are, they already are clothed. And you can play with them like they're aristocrats or something. I don't know. These look like little rich outfits from like the 1800s or so. It's fine. And then, so we have two more. We have William, and we I did a I did a pocket for Edmund. Uh oh, his hat. So Edmund has a pocket. Let's just put William's pocket on together. I was going to put you on pause, but. I'm not gonna. And move him over and place his pocket down. Very carefully. Slide him in. There you go. And then he, this one, Edmund, has a hat. See that? Edmund has a hat. All right. So we're going to put his hat away. Now, I made this pocket before I uh, made the bases to the other pockets. So I'm just going to leave it. 
and we can just keep going because that's the end of the dolls. Now we have big journal cards if you want to have journaling in your doll portfolio or whatever you want to call it, your doll folder. So I had uh, clipped out some pockets out of the scraps and all we got to do is round the edges. This one goes here and these are the journal cards and I'm going to do another, this one. And they basically go right here. And then this is a pocket. And then this is a pocket. So we're just going to glue down all the pockets. This is a real quick job. So now you know where they're going to go, so I'm going to glue them on because I only have like four minutes left to be on here with you. All right, now I had cut out my own journal card uh, from scrap, and then I put, um, I just round the edges. Now these butterflies, all they need to be, I fussy cut them out from the paper because um, they were supposed to be thrown away. And so I'm just going to add them to this journal card that I made. Okay. We're going to do all three. Then I'll show you the whole page. And then we got to do, whoops another um, another video we're going to continue to finish the pockets and then um, do some trim on it so this my dears is another journal card okay very quick and easy. So it goes in here, and then you have a card that says Flourish. And then you have a bunch of cutout tags. Okay. And then you have this huge journal card. It's really pretty. You can just write all over the back of it. She doesn't want to go way down in there. Of course, I want her chin to show. So she covers up this pocket. And then you pull this one out. Love is deep as roots. Okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight journal cards on one page. And then tomorrow or when I come back, we will finish it off. Okay? So thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing all of this nation. Thank you for calming everybody down. And thank you for prospering this nation and bringing in, um, bringing in revival, bringing in repentance. And thank you, Lord, for your Pentecost. Thank you, everyone, for coming in and sharing this prayer with me, sharing this project with me, and sharing your uh, attention with me. I bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Keep creating with love. Bye.